In the presence of the chairman of Russia Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahraini Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Deputy Chairman of Russia Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, his Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Royal Equestrian Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and other officials. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized this afternoon the 16th horse race meeting of the season, which was held for the cups of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and his children, Sheikh Shima, Sheikh Hamad, and Sheikh Mohammed. The first race was won by Ritot, owned by H&R Stables. The second race was won by Ghafia, owned by Al Malah Stables. The third race was won by Abyan, 1620, owned by Wasmiya Stables. The fourth race was won by Thor Khail Star, owned by His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The fifth race was won by Dutch Masterpiece, owned by Ramadan Stables. The sixth race was won by Dari, owned by Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa. And the seventh and final race was won by Robozd, owned by Ramadan Stables.
At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented trophies to the winners. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure at the fine organization of the race. He also hailed the efforts of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, led by Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa and Sheikh Isa bin Salman, as well as all members of the committee. He stressed his keenness to support the efforts of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, which go in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to provide appropriate care to all types of equestrian sports in the kingdom. He commended the levels of performance and competition in the race, congratulating all the winners and wishing them success. The Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force in Bahrain Defense Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with several companies and institutions that wish to participate in Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017, BIDIC, which will be held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The event will be held from October 16th to the 18th and is considered to be a major opportunity to exchange ideas and experiences on current security developments within the military field. This comes as implementation to the directives of the Royal Guard Commander, President of the High Organizing Committee for BIDIC 2017, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as His Highness Major Sheikh Khaled reviewed the companies and organizations program and the advanced techniques and the latest military developments they will present. His Highness expressed pride and gratitude in the Kingdom of Bahrain hosting this international military exhibition which will be held under the auspices of His Majesty the King. His Highness stressed that this international exhibition will have a positive impact on Bahrain Defense Force to help keep up with modern development in military systems. He explained the participation of the Saudi-led Arab Coalition to restore legitimacy in Yemen and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, is a clear indication of the importance of the event. The Minister of Information Affairs, Mr. Ali bin Mohammed al rumehi affirmed that the ministry has supervised and evaluated Bahrain media inside and outside the kingdom over the past few months. He noted that the aim of the evaluation is to develop Bahraini media output and to develop a strong unified vision based on facts to help the kingdom face all the threats and challenges. The minister highlighted the role decree to establish a national telecommunication center aimed at unifying the government's media message based on a clear agenda. The center is responsible for creating and implementing plans and strategies for the government. It's also responsible for promoting Bahrain at legal and political levels, as well as for dealing with the tenderest propaganda that targets the kingdom. <laughs> 